Hi, I'm Zara Arami and I'm here on behalf of the Digital Futures Festival, organised by Employability Bridge End. I'm here to talk about what I do, so what do I do? Well, you can probably guess that I work in digital. So I'm actually a digital development producer. And if you're thinking, oh, what, what? Basically, I come up with new ideas for digital content and ways of which we can make news accessible and something that you'd actually watch. How? Well, I guarantee you that right now you've got either TikTok, Instagram or YouTube downloaded on your phone. And that's my bag. You could say it's like being a content creator without the brand deals or the promo codes, unfortunately. But I didn't just fall into this job. There were a few steps I had to take to get here. That was me on my first week of being an apprentice. And as you can tell, I was far from a natural on the camera. That was me then, so let's throw it back to where it all began. So I started as an apprentice. And before then, I had no idea that there was apprenticeships in the media industry. Never mind, I'd be able to get on it. So fresh out of school, I tried my hand at a few things. I studied art and design, beauty therapy, alongside working in a care home. I did some waitressing jobs, worked in a chippy. Ended up in retail. The list kind of went on until I saw this opportunity and just thought, why not? It was a creative and digital apprenticeship with Skill Cymru. After applying, I went through a few stages and finally got the job. Here are some things I liked about it. I got to learn on the job and get paid for it. Two, I got to learn from the best in the biz. Three, I picked up so many new skills from editing to using a camera and to writing articles. Four, you know how they say every day is a school day? Well, every day is a networking day at ITV Wales. Through the stories you do, you get to meet so much really cool and interesting people so that you can tell their story accurately. And not just that, but you're around people that have worked in the industry for so long and they have such great stories to tell too. And you meet other apprentices within Wales and across the country. Five, the newsroom. It's not exactly Anchorman, but it is so cool to see what, how the news happens from behind the scenes. And let me tell you, it's very different to what you see on TV. After my apprenticeship, I was a digital girl wanting to live in a digital world. So when this traineeship scheme came up, I jumped at the chance. It's a shared traineeship between S4C and ITV, and being a Welsh speaker really came through for me here. I did a bit of everything during my time here, from interviewing leading politicians, to explainers, to going to protests, and making mini festos to make politics a bit more understandable to young people. And that traineeship is still going on today, though it has had a few revamps. Every year, S4C and ITV hire two trainee journalists to be the new faces of Hamstim Spin. You don't need any qualifications or or experience in journalism, just a desire to learn, a passion to tell people's stories and the ability to speak Welsh. And if you want to give them a cheeky follow on TikTok and Instagram, it's just at handstimspin. There is English subtitles. What did I do next? A woman confesses on Facebook to killing her dog, how tequila shots put four people in hospital, and is Universal Studios coming to a town near you? Hi, I'm Zara and this is The Rundown. Well, it turned up a notch when I got an attachment at ITV News in London, where I became a presenter and a producer for The Rundown, which is a news bulletin that goes out every day and it's aimed towards a younger audience. I moved to London, lived that big city life and rubbed shoulders with some news royalty. My little cameos on The Rundown continued. As TikTok blew up and more young people were getting their news from social media, we blew up too. With 2.3 million followers on TikTok, ITV News became the home of explainers, crime talk, and some lighter stuff too. Throughout my career as a journalist and a digital producer, I've been really lucky to have some amazing experiences. But here are some of my personal highlights. I've produced mini documentaries, I've gone undercover, and I've met some amazing people that trusted me to share their story. But above it all, the biggest highlight has been ensuring that Welsh people are seen and heard on screen, albeit a digital one. If you like the sound of all of that, then could it be for you? Let's see, are you a good storyteller? Creative, good with people, curious, adaptable, and approachable? Then good news, the chances are you'd make a pretty good digital journalist. I took an apprenticeship route, but there are many different ways of getting into the industry, like university and traineeships. But a tip I would give anyone who wants to get started is don't wait around for an opportunity to come, start now. Whether it be researching for a story, explaining the news on TikTok, or starting to write a blog, all of that will prepare you for what's to come and make you really desirable for a future employer.
For anyone keen to start at ITV Wales, there's traineeships that happen every year and keep an eye out for those apprenticeships. We do offer work experience. All you have to do is just send us an email. For those of you that made it to the end of this video, thank you. I hope it was useful to hear about my experience and hopefully to inspire a new generation of digital journalists.